Hello, welcome to the LED color comparison test. Here we're going to be examining uh, two control groups versus LED lights. Uh, daylight, natural daylight from the sun, um, and at, mid at noon, roughly midday, and a standard RE1K tungsten unit. So here's our daylight. Uh, the meter you're going to see is the RA number is what you're looking for. That's your CRI, your color rating index. That's uh, the quality of the light, the accuracy of the light. So daylight was obviously very high, 99 plus, and the LEDs are going to fall into a different place. Um, and it's really what we're looking for is to see, you know, how close we can get to the control. PL90 looks pretty good, but uh, you can see some differences. Uh, later on, there'll be a side-by-side -side where you'll get a better sense of what's going on. The Cineo Matchbox has a very high CRI rating of 96.4. Um, but it does meter a little bit uh, warmer, or rather cooler, I should say, 6393. Um, so it's going to, you know, compared to what the camera was seeing from the daylight unit, it's going to feel a bit cooler, and it does. It's a tiny bit cooler. The uh, Generate Spectro LED, uh, 88.1 CRI. Um, overall the light was not very bright, so it was really a bit of a pain. Similar with this ICANN IFB, um, and the ICANN has, I think, golden barn doors, so it kind of, the sides of the image get a warmer tint. You could see that there. This is the Limelight Studio light, um, sort of a medium to not so expensive uh, unit. It's pretty bright, um, but its color is not the best. This is the Draycast 1000, um, as you can see, 95.6 CRI, which is quite good. But it's also 12 feet from the subject, so it's pretty bright. So you get a lot of punch for the money you spend on that. The Westcott is very good performer, great color, 96.4. The Astra is extremely bright, set about 14 feet away from the subject with a 93.3 CRI. Area 48 soft lights. Um, honestly, I expected a little bit better CRI rating out of it, but overall they look pretty good. Um, we'll see it when we do the side-by-side -side test a little later on in this video. Then you'll get a direct comparison between the control and the LEDs, so you can really see the differences between them. Lastly, the uh, RE Sky Panel, the most expensive offering we have, 3780 I mean, $3,780 is a lot of money for a light. I don't think that's within reach for most people. And here's the tungsten, the RE1K Studio Fresnel, just a standard uh, Fresnel light, 99.8 CRI. And the camera metered that at 2956 Kelvin. Now, the camera may not necessarily represent exactly what the true white balance is, like the meter will. Um, because obviously there's you know different things going on inside the camera. It's it's a electronic extrapolation, so the numbers are not going to correlate. But um, we haven't changed the white balance of the camera at all between them. So really, what you're looking for is the differences between all these different LEDs, and and this is a good way to see it is you know sort of a full screen representation where you can look at the uh, chips and the skin and kind of get a subjective reading. For yourself you know get an idea of which one you think looks best and then later on when we have the side by side you'll be able to you know get a little bit of empirical data and actually look at it and see how it compares to directly to uh, the control whether it's broad daylight or um, the re1k tungsten unit and then you can actually see what's happening whether it's cooler warmer bluer greener you know magenta whatever is happening in there you'll get a better sense of um the differences in the in the units and uh, of course how much you know how much quality you get per dollar too um, some of them perform very well in the mid price range you know like the Astra or the uh, Draycast um, whereas then you start getting higher and higher in price for I guess you could say diminishing returns but you know for the discerning eye sometimes the higher price is worth it for perfection And lastly, the uh, RE Sky Panel here looks great, 95 CRI. 
And now we're going to get into the side-by-side -side comparison. So on the left side, you're going to see the control, which is going to be either broad daylight or the tungsten unit. And on the left, we're going to be cycling through the LEDs. So here we go, the ICANN PL90 directly against the daylight. Um, and look at the, the gray chip. I mean, I understand that, yes, one is in the studio and the other is outdoors. But what you're looking for is the the differences in the chip, the differences in the skin tone. Um, we did our best to make the exposure identical. Uh, we used the shutter, we changed the shutter speed for the outdoor shot so that the um, there was no ND or glass or anything to uh, affect the image. Um, so here we have the Cineo Matchbox. Um, again, this is a very small light. It's not bright at all. So this wider shot is 2000 ISO and this tighter shot where we moved the light way in where it was literally right in front of their faces. Uh, to be able to get it to expose at 500 ISO. But you have both so that you can see if there's even a color change between uh, ISO changes in the camera. Which there shouldn't be, but there could potentially be some because nobody really knows what's going on inside modern cameras. The Generay here um, had a little bit of an uneven spread. Uh, probably had to do with the barn doors. And just for reference, we um, we set each of the lights to its equivalent of what it, the manufacturer feels is daylight. Uh, most of them didn't have an actual color temperature reading. It was really just a dial between daylight and tungsten. So we set them to what the manufacturer suggests daylight is. If it had the ability to dial in an actual number, like 56, we set it to 56. If it, you know, or it was just a blue or an orange, you know, you kind of just go to blue and see what they think daylight is and where that falls in comparison to the real thing. Westcott Flex Light is a really, really good one. It looks fantastic. The uh, I think the Draycast, the Westcott um, light panel looks pretty good. Um, you know, that's really like a nice balance between power, size, um, price, and quality, honestly. They're, they're really putting out some great light. The Area 48s are, are you know, generally regarded as some of the best right now in industry standard, but of the higher end models, I think the Kinoflow Celeb is kind of the winner. Um, the colors just look fantastic and, and it's very neutral. Everybody looks natural like they should. Um, here you'll see the sky panel. I, I'm personally surprised by how warm it is. I was expecting it to be spot on considering the price, but I'm sure that it's uh, you know easily adjustable in the settings on the light. And uh, you know when you actually white balance the camera, to the light itself, you know, the results should be exact, but, um, you know, it's a good way to just sort of see the difference of what they're putting out naturally and how far off from the mark they are. So this is the tungsten. Um, you'll see the Cineo Matchbox a little bit cooler, uh, but overall the color reproduction is pretty good. I mean, really nothing beats the 1K. Um, you know, it was funny, while we were actually shooting this, we turned the 1K on and looked at the monitor and everyone just sort of let out a cry of, oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, so it was, it was uh, yeah, it's definitely the standard for a reason. And one of the least expensive, too, just if you're uh, willing to put up with the power requirements and heat. So this one is just a uh, little bit of a experiment. We just put the the Draycast brand CTO filter on just to see how close it would be to actual tungsten. And as you can see, it's pretty far off. The Westcott Flex Light looks pretty good. Um, a little cooler than natural tungsten, but overall I think it renders a nice image. Uh, Astra, when in tungsten, looks pretty good. Uh, I feel it's a little greener. Maybe a, a little greener, a little warmer. Uh, and again, the Kinoflow Celeb is, is just great. It looks really good. A tiny bit cool, but um, it looks balanced to me. Gray looks gray. The white in the shirts looks white. Um, and then again, the sky panel here, which, which is much, much warmer than I thought it would be. Kind of surprising, considering the price.